So now once we have seen hello world and how to create class and object and how to use all those things, let's go for the second code. Now if you remember, if you if you have learned any other programming language before, maybe C, C++ or Java, the second code we always write is addition of two numbers, right? Now how can we implement that thing here? How can you add two numbers in Kotlin? Is it anything different? Uh, not exactly, it is almost same. I just want to show you how it is similar with Java in terms of addition, addition or maybe, maybe some other operation. So what I will do is I will create a variable here. I will say this variable as num1, but then how to create a int variable here? Because in, in Java, we use i and t, which is i is small. But in case of Kotlin, if you use i and t in small way, it will give you an error. As you can see that it is giving you in red color. That means it is, it's saying unresolved reference int. So in case of integer, I mean, we have to use i as capital. Okay, so then we have to create a second variable, we'll say num2, and this would be int again. Uh, now what happens if I print, if I, oh, not sys out, that's a Java thing, right? So I will print here, I will print the value of num1. Let's try to understand what happens when you print num1. Now in Java as well, we have two types of variables, right? We have instance variables and we have local variables. Whenever you create a variable inside a method, it's a local variable, right? And if you don't assign the value to a local variable, you can see you are getting an error here. Now, if I go to this error, it says variable num1 must be initialized, which means to, for your local variables, you should initialize this variable. So I will say this is 4 and this is 7. Now, since I'm coming from Java background, of course, I'm putting semicolon at the end, right? But as you know, this is optional, so we can remove that. So we got num1 here and if you want to perform the addition operation, it's very simple. You can simply say num1 plus num2. The way we do in uh, in normal programming, right? C, C++, we use plus operator. I don't I, I expect anything else here. It's almost same. Let's run this code and let's see what happens. Okay, so as you can see, we got the output which is 11 in the, in the console window, if you can see that. So once you add these two numbers, 4 and 7, you will get 11, right? Can we use some other operations here? If I use subtraction, it will work in the same way. Let's run this. And we got minus three in the output window, right? So that's how you can perform addition subtraction. We can also use mod operators here. We can use all the operators which we use in Java as well. Now, let's say I want to print in a in a particular way. So I want to perform addition operation, but not I don't want to print in such a way. So we can also print. We can also use a variable. We can create a variable outside, and we can assign the values there. So I can say var result equal to, and we can as, we can say num one plus num2 we can do that as well and we can simply put result here so we can just remove this and we say result so let's run this code and of course when you run this code you will get the same output which is 11 okay i have not running this code yet but then this will work so if you say if you say result oh but then okay let's verify will it work because i have not mentioned the value for result right so let's see what happens okay and as you can see, you can see we got the output which is 11 here so we are able to add these values now what else uh, okay so this is how you 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 perform the operation here right now once we know how to add two numbers how to subtract two numbers uh let's go for some other other concept where i want to print these values example i want to print result in such a way that it should print the addition of <coughs> the addition of four and seven is eleven how can we do that so i will not write something like this i will say the addition of uh, 4 and 7 is 11. But then I'm assigning a static value, right? I, how would I know that value will be 11? So I want to find that answer from result. So I want to print the same statement, but by assigning the values. But if you assign the values, if you say num1 here, and if you say num2 here, and if you say result, of course the output you'll be getting is num1 and num2 is result. We will not get 4 and 7 is 11, right? So yeah, that's how you can perform this operation. But in the next video, we'll see how exactly we can replace this num1 with the actual value. Because if you run this, you will get num1 plus num2 is result, right? So yeah, that's, a, that's how you, you work with this. In the next video, we'll see how to replace this with numbers.